Johnny here for Johnny's Care Care and Reviews. I'm gonna take you inside the vehicle, show you everything you've gotta see, the measurements, exactly every function on the touchscreen. I wanna make sure you're real comfortable with your Maverick before it shows up. I'll even measure the steering wheel, so in case you wanna buy a steering wheel cover in the meantime. So let's hop right in and see what we've got. Okay, so let's just jump right into the settings right here. I've been asked a few questions and I want to really answer them, go a little more in depth on the touch screen. So the house key thing to remember here, I'm just going to go a review of how to use the system. So it's quick, easy to learn, easy to use. So you're not frustrated when you first pick it up. So real simple, the house always brings you back to your main screen. So don't worry, you can't go anywhere and get stuck. Uh, you can maybe get this, stuck, this truck stuck somewhere, but probably less likely since this is the FX4 package and all wheel drive, but uh, you won't get stuck in this system. At any time I press the house and I'm right back to the beginning. The beginning or the main screen shows you what's going on with your phone, shows you a little bit of information about the infotainment, the radio. Now if, let's say I wanna to go to the radio. Real simple, hit audio, go to sources. Now let's say I wanna to go to Bluetooth stereo. I could go right there and go to Bluetooth if this had satellite radio. Well, there'd be the satellite radio option. I could click on that and then it'd go back to this screen right here. And when you pick a channel you like, you can save it. Cause here you can mix channels between AM, FM, and also satellite radio if you have satellite radio. Now, just carrying right along, if we go into the phone, this is where right when you get the vehicle, you're gonna click add phone and you're gonna wanna go to your parameters or settings on your phone. You'll go to your Bluetooth options. You wanna make sure your Bluetooth is on. So it's gonna show a little line of blue that means it's on. Now often enough, your phone will actually turn its Bluetooth off for no known reason known to man, humankind. Your phones love to turn off the Bluetooth randomly. Do remember your phone will work a lot better if you reset it a few times a week. So you just have your phone turn off. It's kind of like a computer or a laptop. It does it good to get the turn off and reboot. But you're gonna go to add phone here. It's gonna search. So when you go to search add phone. Fort Maverick on your device and select Fort Maverick once it is found. And it's as simple as that. From your Bluetooth settings, you'll make sure that your phone is searching. When you see Maverick, you'll click Maverick on the phone and then just say yes to everything and your device is then connected. Now, if ever you wanna add another phone, pretty easy, you go to settings and you'll go to phone up here. So if you wanna add a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth phone, as it may be, as you wish, just keep going to phone and add a Bluetooth device right there. So that's my phone right there. And you know, I can remove it. I can connect it or I can close. Now, I don't want to connect it because when texts or messages come in, I don't want you all to see everything that's going on on my phone. <laughs> uh, now carrying right, or, uh, carrying right along, let's go to apps. NOAA apps are showing because only the Lariat with luxury package um, and even actually that, sorry. All models, you're gonna have to connect your phone right there or there and that's when you'll have the apps from your phone pop up on your screen because this this screen here on the new Maverick does not have access on its own to applications. It takes the applications off your phone, but you can definitely have Google Maps or Waze and you'll get to see what the speed limit is for your given area. So a fantastic, fun, safe feature. Make sure you're going the right speed for safety reasons, of course. I'd say and a good part for avoiding tickets. Now, of course, in town, when you're around houses, always good to go below the speed limit, but when you're in more of an industrial area and it's only businesses, well, it's a different story. Now, jumping right in, when you're in the settings, you'll see these little squares. Anytime you see little squares, that means you can swipe over. It's pretty neat. You can go to ambient lighting, play around with the brightness. This goes back. And had I, you know, been stuck and felt like, oh man, I don't know where, I oh boy, I don't know where I am. I'm at. Hit settings again and it goes back to the main, main screen for settings. You can go to vehicle, don't change your door keypad code. You'll need your original code to put in a new code and camera settings. So you put in your original code, 
and then you get to put in a new code. I can press back, go to camera settings, rear camera, camera delay on or off. Now in display, if you go to comm screen, basically it's gonna show you the absolute minimum of information so that the screen isn't a distraction. So if you want full use of that, definitely do not go to comm screen. You see that? That's the minimum of information. That's so that it's not a distraction. Now what do you do to get it to come back? Don't worry, we can resolve that. You just press the screen until it pops up. Impatiently press the screen and it'll pop right back up. So definitely don't want comm screen on. You can change your background right here. You can play around with the brightness. And mode can be on automatic. Now I like automatic because when it becomes at night, the screen will be less bright, less of a distraction, less likely to give you headaches or distract you. Now the arrow to go back. Now let's get back to those other settings that we've got right here. You can turn 911 assist on or off. 911 assist, what it does is that if the airbags go off, the vehicle, through of course the use of your phone, will call 911. You've got general settings. So you can, this is where in general settings, if you want to change to Spanish or French, that's where you can do that right here. Temperature units, you can go into Fahrenheit if you prefer. Touch screen beep, if you like to hear the beep. See that, a little beeping, let you know you've hit the button. Now, Ford Pass Connect, you will wanna get Ford Pass downloaded on your smartphone. That's gonna allow you to start the vehicle from a distance, from your phone. Uh, and you know you don't have to worry about a certain distance you could be in a different country you could be in Canada and start your phone that's sitting in the United States so wherever you're at as long as your vehicle uh, can pick up a signal and as long as your phone has a signal you will be able to start your vehicle from di distance have an approximate idea of you know fuel unlock the doors lock the doors find you know gas stations in the local area so that's pretty useful you can go to mobile apps. You know you want to make sure they're on. In these little eyes, that's when you want a little more information about, you know, if you're not sure what something does, you can always ask for information on it. So that's a really nice ad that Ford has thrown in recently. Change the clock right there. Play around with the sound to get just the right, just what you want out of the sound system. I do suggest you go to, you know, maybe adding a little more treble set it up, listen to it, find what works for you. Oh, and something that's great in sound is speed compensated volume. So this vehicle is actually quite well, uh, the sound deadening is very good in it. There's actually uh, double sound deadening on the doors, so two seals. Uh, I've driven at this at speed. I've got, you know, main road right there, and it's wet. That's about as noisy as it can get. We're not hearing that whatsoever. Just hearing the fan, I'll turn that off a little. Try not to freeze in here. So continuing right along. So we go to radio. So you can control right there. So I hope that covers what everyone needed to see out of the system. Of course, if there's extra questions, you can you know, ask away, that's what I'm here for. Do my best to answer you. One of the questions I got was, is there a light right there? No, sorry gang, no light. I wouldn't worry too much about that. This vehicle has torque vectoring. So when you're turning, let's say on a right curve, your inner right wheel will break slightly so that there's very little weight transfer to the left side. So that really helps with handling. I really felt that during the road test. You can always check out my road test video to hear more about my impressions on the road test, but I was very, very pleased. Actually, I loved it. And you know, I've shown this in other videos, but the textured plastic Ford is reusing 1.2 billion plastic bottles every year. So that's really cool. 
Uh, quite a few of them I think are found in here, but textured plastic, so it looks good. Now, I had one user say that they thought that was um, recycled or reused carbon fiber. I really don't think so. I'm quite certain that the little specks you see here, it's reprieve carpet. That just means that it's the shavings from when they cut the carpets down here and put them in the vehicle. Now, if you're wondering glove compartment space, well, it'll easily fit the owner's manual. Just give you an idea there on space got your nice bolts orange highlights that actually look really great when you see them in person bottle spot the sound system I do have to say I've listened to it and I like it I think it's really good and I do like listening to music but if you're an absolute you know music fan and you just love to have you know top-of-the-line sound system either go with the Bang & Olufsen or well you can always pop of course pop and swap you can always swap out pop them out and swap them out and put whatever sound speakers you find are of quality and work for you now I have fit three guys in the back back there surprising amount of space really cool stitching now I'll try to throw in some XL pictures. So here we have our XL interior. You know, everything's the same except the seats. The seats are just as comfortable. They just look different. You know, they're they're black. But you know, the doors are the same. The, it's a fantastic interior on the XL. It's, it's really surprising. Equal comfort, uh, you know, the same material, same tissue, just different color. I do really love though the Activix seats, mostly recycled plastic, very durable great feel to it all the seats i'd say if i were to drive eight hours i'd be equally comfortable on all the seats but the activix just gives you a rich finish but the dash is the same on all the models and i'll talk a little bit more about that later on in the video by the way there's a few little easter eggs throughout the vehicle that are really neat like the built ford tough the little orange accents do look really good in the material here it's soft and it's got a good feel for your elbow so you've got a really good elbow rest but the XL interior, major question was, what is the difference between the trims? Well, they always have the same doors here. They have the same dash. They have the same touchscreen. But an XL has black seats. And a Lariat has Activix. And Activix, for the most part, is, if I'm not mistaken, recycled plastic. And I like it more than leather because it's got a great touch. It's soft. It's durable. I really love Activix and I really hope Ford continues to use it on, you know, everything. I'd love to have that in my Bronco. Mind you, the marine grade vinyl is really awesome. I keep getting it wet without any repercussions whatsoever. So the inside, it's mostly the material that changes from XLT to Lariat, Activix on the Lariat, cloth on both the XL and XLT. However, on the XL, this is all black. So I'll try to just throw in a photo to help you out. It's what I'm here for. And if you, like I said, if you have questions, don't be a stranger. It'd be a pleasure to answer you. Here, just so you get familiar with your truck, pick up the phone, hang up the phone. Now, only the Lariat luxury package has Sync 3. That means when you press here, you talk to the voice assistant of Ford and that's when you can control your temperature your station your radio station that kind of thing just general commands to the vehicle however if you're on an XL or XLT you will have and Lariat without luxury package you're gonna have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay so you'll have Siri or Google Assistant and they work great no issues there you got your wiper right there up to make those wipers work and this is to control the speed of the intermittent wipers so high and low the frequency in which they will come on in between each setting here you've got of course your cruise control you press that shows up on the dash right there then you've got to press set and then you can play around with your speed go faster for plus, slower, right there. You can control the volume of the radio, which I can't play because I'll get hit up with a copyright infringement. Mute the sound. Your blinker, right over here. 
and adjusting your mirrors. A little trick, press on the left one and then you're adjusting your left mirror. You have the right here, then you're adjusting your right mirror. And of course your power windows, lock doors, handle. So I hope this has been helpful. And uh, if, just before I sign out, let you know that there is, <laughs> someone called it a, what was it, an octopus or jellyfish launcher. That is not a jellyfish launcher. That is for the back, the, uh, for the lighting for the bed. But jellyfish launcher is the most comical answer I've heard uh, so far. Here, when you're on automatic lights, daylights and night lights will turn on and, on, on and off, all on their own. And this controls the intensity of the dash right there. You got your fog lights right there. That's your fog light setting. Off, automatic lights, and night driving nights, lights. So, take care everyone. Thank you very much for watching to the end. And you know, please like and subscribe to help the channel out. It helps feed a poodle and helps keep the channel going. So thank you very much. Have a great week, everybody. I hope you get to put the pedal to the metal and I hope you get, you know, more cars and more power. And in this case, I hope you get your Maverick soon. So first of all, I've been asked, how many inches is the steering wheel? Well, here we go. I assumed it was 14, but here's the official measurement. It is just under 15. It's a hair under 15. So just a hair under 15 inches. Let's see, right here, what do we have? You've got a little cubby of three inches. By six inches. Drink holders here, you got huge ones on the side, but not so huge here. Just over three, so three and a quarter. So yeah, we got three and a quarter. I think pretty much every cell phone's gonna fit right there. I don't even know why I'm measuring this one right here. But you got, it looks like it's gonna be seven inches. Oh, is it ever hard to measure with one hand? That's not something I normally do. So that's eight inches. Yeah, we got eight inches right there by four inches or three and three quarter. No, that's four inches. Here, your regular cell phone's definitely gonna fit in. Once again, four inches. So you got 20 inches by nine inches. And recall those codes, you can scan them and they'll tell you everything you can do with you know various parts of your vehicle. So just scan away on the code and you've got access to videos telling what you can do, what you can fit, what you can craft. So I think that pretty much sums summarizes all the questions I've gotten. Now earlier on we were inside playing with the touch screen, either earlier on or after, depending how I edit this. And that is the noise of the main road. And that just cut, completely gets cut out from the inside of the vehicle because you've got Good sound deadening here to close off the doors. You got it right up here as well. And another layer up here. So the doors do a great job. You can see those doors are quite thick. In the spirit of measuring everything with one hand and having all sorts of trouble, let's just add to today's woes and see right there we've got doors that play around eight inches wide. Eight inches and even 10 inches at certain spots. So the angle makes it look like it's less, but that's actually nine and a half inches at certain spots and at the thinnest spots, you're looking more around seven. So well insulated doors. I'm quite pleased. I didn't think a vehicle this price would be this well insulated. Hope it's been helpful. If so, please like and subscribe.